Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. Back into it and back at it. You've got The Local Show with Tom and Steve normally, but uh, now I have Greg Angwin with me, my old time friend, 30 year friend or, or more. Uh, we were in business together with our DJ company for a while, and then uh, Greg is also a neighbor. So uh, we hang out, and um, you've been a business person for quite some time. You you actually were with the, were you with the Penny Saver? Was yes, that? Yeah. yep. For a long time, you did quite that a, too. Quite a long, maybe ten years, I think I was. Yeah, there. wow. Yeah, yeah print so media. You, you had a lot of um, experience with local business. Yes. Yep. A lot of that was my main focus. That was the Penny Savers' main focus was local businesses local. and trying to get them to advertise and 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 do worthwhile advertising. Yeah. That was a great paper. <laughs> you know, it, it, it served really a purpose. Was. It really did serve a purpose for 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 uh, yeah for uh, a lot of the people. amount of papers that went out and free papers of New York. I think is what the national okay. organization is. But yeah, um, yeah, print media is what's that? Now? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what people are saying, right? Yeah. And uh, now you're into trucks. To have Heavy duty trucks, huh? Yes, class eight they call it. Cool. Sell sell plow trucks for all the towns and municipalities around, and yeah. Um, and you take care of just uh, New York State with that, or New York State? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I have the so. DOT uh, contract, and also uh, all municipals throughout uh, right. everywhere. Wow, that's something else. Big trucks, and they're not electric yet, right? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, right. It's coming. No, I don't know. All right. Well, it's our pleasure right now to talk with Joe Scrippa. He is the owner of the Scrippa Group. We're going to talk some real estate right now. Joe, how are you? Fantastic, Tom. Yourself? Very good. Thank you for uh, being here. And we're all neighbors. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 Yeah. We could go walk together. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to do that. Um, but you, you and I were talking about uh, the allergies just making us so dang tired. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the pollen is uh, it's, it's out there. It's blown around. Yeah. The answer is blown in the wind. So <laughs> how, long, how long have you been in real estate and uh, the management thereof? Oh, I'm going to say 22 years now if i'm if i'm going to get specific uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, management probably 17 18 years okay yeah and w- what does that involve when you say you're in the management of properties what uh, what does that mean well for instance i'll give you an example you drive by a shopping center mm-hmm. somebody uh, either an owner or somebody like myself cares for the property a lot of our shopping centers locally to Syracuse are owned by people from out of town. Gotcha. So I happen to handle and take care of all aspects of, of those properties for absentee owners. Wow, that sounds like a big mm-hmm. job. Even for a local owner, if the local owner has a regular job and they're setting up their retirement with um, owning investment mm-hmm. real estate, we manage it while they're at work. You know, So our work day is take care of other people's property. Gotcha. And then uh, you do do some uh, residential. I know that uh, my wife had made the move to go yeah, over with you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh. You know what? Kelly has got my favorite listing in Cicero. Oh, Absolutely. That's right. Cooper's to go. Yeah. Uh, Lakeshore Road, right across, you know, so close to Williams Beach. Yeah. And, you know, all I can think is anybody out there listening that has a food truck, they right. ought to be calling Kelly right now to say, my food truck commissary is going to be that place. Yeah. And, you know, it's got a great entertainment set up with the yeah, big Yeah, it's got deck, the deck back the there. Deck, yeah, and nice. the place is impeccably new. Yeah. It's like new. It really is. Yeah. I'd almost like to make it my residence. <laughs> yeah, I, dro- I drove by there just to see what it was. It's really not. It's a great location. They got lots of places to sit and yeah. umbrellas oh. everywhere. And for yeah. the season, you get a food truck guy right now when right. they're not out with their truck, or sure. even put the truck there in addition to to, to, to the other Coopers. Thing, yeah. But you know, there's room for I think a little outdoor volleyball or yeah. something like that. Man, if you've got a food truck or a, a food business. What a great location, or awesome. second location, or just amazing. Well, that's good. Well, yeah. thank you for the plug there. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So what's happening, uh, you know, I keep hearing that 
uh, there's more meetings with Micron. I, I don't understand why there's more town halls. I thought this was done deal. Well, you know, I think it is a done deal. You know, mm-hmm. personally, I've, I, I drive that area. You know, we're adjacent. We're right there next door. My office is in Brewerton. Yep. We are literally next door to the site. Uh, I drive up Route 11, uh, yep. which the site is just, uh, let's see, west of Route 11. As I drive up, I'm literally driving pre- past the Micron property every day. And I'm seeing people out there doing survey work and stuff like that, which tells me it's going. Yeah. Um, article came out today, you know, about a meeting that took place yesterday mm-hmm. with timelines. Okay, um, so. Ben, the same timelines I was thinking exactly. Look, it'll be some time before the real population is here and everything. Yeah. Um, but it's real. And I'll tell you what, if somebody wants to know what's going on, mm-hmm. I would take the call personally. Okay, you know, to, good. To talk to somebody, whether you're a real estate owner, non-real estate owner, you just, just want to know. Yeah. Uh, we're getting into that share information all over social media right now. We're kind of trying to set up something so people can get the real news from the street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, because we get a lot of preliminary stuff. Like right now, one of my colleagues, you know, from that I work with every day, mm-hmm. uh, just showed a 100,000 square foot space to an ancillary supplier of Micron. It's real. Right. It's real. Yeah. The suppliers have to be here before Micron. Absolutely. And they're already coming to town. Yeah, so that's a good thing. It, yeah. It, it shows that that they're going to be here. Um, you know, outside of that, you know, for us, we're seeing, you know, the, the prices continue to increase, mm-hmm. you know, which is good for our local people. We, we want to represent our local people, help them get more money, sure. you know, in a, in this time. And a lot of people think, Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Well, there's a little curve to that wait. Okay. You, mm-hmm. you wait too long and you, you you'll be on the downswing again. So uh, the, the, um, national media gives me agita uh, all day, uh, every day. They're saying, Oh, the, you know, real estate market is drying up. There's, you know, it's slowing down just, all this kind of crap. Just what read an think? article and just sent it to my son. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's going to be doing some blogging for us. Alex. Right. And, um, you know, we were going over this article and it's talking about nationally how, how home prices are dropping. It's devastating. 20% less, 30% <laughs> less. Uh, Cicero, New York, I'm going to tell you, yeah. Nikki Bronner from our office, yep. um, Nikki and Amber Perkins work together. They're, they're a team in our office and they just had a listing in Cicero in a neighborhood that I sold several townhomes personally myself for eighty five, eighty nine thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Listed for one forty nine. Okay. In three days they had fifty showings. Wow. Back when I was listing those, um, we'd be lucky if we had ten showings in, in two months. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fifty showings in three days, fifteen offers in exponentially over list price. Jeez. See, and that's that's the reality. It's definitely a seller's market. You can't convince me otherwise. No. Yeah. Our neighborhood, our neighborhood, right. we just saw one, you know, go up and go, you know, it was like I a mean, week. Yeah, that was a week. It. And you know, it's not in a uh, you know, low low price range. So I say for Syracuse, we're we're still not there like Pennsylvania and, you know, other areas south of us that have seen these these big price increases, Mm -hmm. you know, commercially, there's still values out there for people renting office areas, you know, office is still a little bit on the low side. Um, but the, um, generally speaking, retail industrial is very hot. Um, you know, one building we've got right now, that's just tremendous. We've got a building on the old Liverpool road, 400 old Liverpool road. Uh, Mm -hmm. the folks built it pretty much brand new. It used to be Liverpool Litho. I say they built it brand new. Everything but the block walls is new in the place. Gosh. And it's just impeccable. And what a great deal. And in, in another market, it'd probably be $3 million, mm. you know, as opposed to Syracuse, where you can pick it up for half that price. Great. So you're seeing things moving along with the commercial properties and, and all that? That's No good. slowdown. Only Excellent. Pay. It's it's only going you know, faster. And those supporting businesses uh, for Micron are starting to come in and look around and search. A- absolutely. And get, get going absolutely. Good. And with, good. Um, with the construction about, you know, to, to get underway, I think we'll see that increase of uh, construction folks here in town needing to rent properties, right. wanting to buy properties, which there's 
none of. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Scrippagroup.com, Scrippagroup.com. Go check out the website, 452-1200, 452-1200. You heard Joe say it. Uh, you can call him up, and if you just want to chat about uh, what's going on with Mike Ron, you got any questions, he'd be happy to field some calls for you. And, uh, yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Joe. You have a great rest of the day. Great seeing you again. Yes, great. Excellent. Coming back with Charlie Van Patten. He'll put you to sleep, Greg. <laughs> owner of uh, Mattress Makers right here on the local show on 570 WSYR.